Our next step is to cut our vinyl. So I've laid up my vinyl and I have my pattern. I'm just going to set this on top. I'm going to find it. I have a good place to put it. And then we're going to cut. Now the sides and the top where it was cut from um, your provider might not be straight. So you don't necessarily want to butt it to the top if it is not even because it could be twisted. So let's try to make this as straight as possible. And we're going to bring it as close to the edges as we could. And press down because you see we have ridges in this. We have ridges from where it was rolled or folded and so we just want to eliminate those. So I'm just going to keep my hand on it, get my X-Acto knife, tighten the blade and then we'll cut. You want to be careful not to cut your pattern. Let's notch. Notching is very important. If you wish, you can mark this out. A pen is not such a friendly material to write with on plastic. So I just prefer to mark it out. I'm sorry, not mark it out. I prefer just to cut. Okay, just going to get these notches. And remember, you're not going to move your hand off of this until you've checked and made sure that everything is lined up and cut. It's easier than having to go back and realign your your pattern. So now we can just check, make sure we have all our notches in place, everything lined up. And let's just mark where our closure goes. Make sure this is properly lined. There we go. And we're pretty good. Okay, so that would take care that would take care of our plastic. This is the body of our purse. Now we're going to lay out and cut our fabric. So you lay out your fabric on the wrong side, preferably. Some fabrics it's difficult to layout on the wrong side because you have a print that you really need to see. So in those cases you're going to use an invisible or uh, I was going to say invisible ink, something that will wash out or I, I would say even better uh, an erasable or removable chalk to mark your um, fabric if you're doing it on the front. Now because I'm doing this on the back I can use I would not typically use a pen, I would use my pencil, but for your sake to see, I am using my pen. Okay, so you're going to want to align your pattern with the patterns if you're using a printed fabric. So you're going to select an area of the fabric that you want to use. Then you're going to just place it on your fabric and mark. Remember to notch.
check your markings and then you're free to cut. Now you can use your fabric scissors or you can use an electric rotary cutter like I'm about to use. This makes your job a lot easier. Um, this can also, this is not limited to one layer of fabric. You can use this cutter for a number of la layers. You see how high this is. Um, this is something that can be adjusted to regulate how many pieces of fabric you can put in there. Okay, so we're going to go with our little one today and cut. I'm just going to press under here. My rotary blade is going to cut. I'm lining my blade up with the line. You're going to notch after you finish cutting. exactly on the line that's fine so long as you're not too shy you're not too far in if you're too far out you can always trim but if you're too far in your your web your webbing or, or binding is not going to be be able to cover it okay so once we have we have a jolly fabric for our lining don't we so once we have that cut, we can go back and notch. Just remember when you're notching. You're not notching like this. A lot of people like to just go like this and snip. I prefer to stay on the line and have be sure of my accuracy. So we're going to do this all the way around. Wonderful. 